What if I told you that one of the cutest darn animals on the face of the planet was a nocturnal and venomous badass? Behold, the fearsome slow loris. Aww. Hello, adorable primates, this is Natalia, but today you can call me Dolores the Slow Loris. We all love adorable animal videos, and there is one video in particular that's won the hearts of millions. It features Sonia, a pet Slow Loris, arms raised, being tickled by her owner. Many remark, man, I want a pet Slow Loris, and that's the problem. First of all, a Loris with its arms raised is actually distressed. And while the video may seem harmless, it has been devastating to the conservation of this critically endangered species. Yes, one of the multiple slow loris species, the Javan slow loris, is on the IUCN top 25 most endangered primate species list. In fact, up to 80% of slow lorises die before they even reach the market to be sold. So slow lorises should never, I repeat, never be kept as pets. Please. Okay, I'm gonna climb down off my soapbox. Now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about the myriad of ways a slow loris is one badass animal. Oh, and loris literally translates to clown in Dutch. So slow lorises, slow clowns. <laughs> yeah. But what exactly is a slow loris? Let's break down some primate taxonomy, shall we? Okay, slow lorises are primates that live throughout South and Southeast Asia, but they are neither monkey nor ape. Instead, they fall into a category of strepsirine. You see, all primates are in the order Primata, and there are two suborders, Haplorini and Strepsirini. Monkeys and apes, including humans, are Haplorines, and lemurs, galagos, and lorises are Strepsirines. Strepsirines differ from monkeys and apes in a bunch of ways, and are considered to be a bit more primitive than their Haplorine cousins. Sorry, slow loris. Strepsirines have a wet tip of their nose, called a renarium, kind of like your dog or cat. This is because they rely on their sense of smell more than their monkey and ape kin. Some strepsirines also have a toilet claw or a grooming claw to comb their dense fur. They're like the metrosexuals of the primate world. The eyes of strepsirines also possess what is called a tapetum lucidum, a thin reflective membrane that amplifies light and helps them see at night. It's the same membrane that allows other mammals to see well at night, like dogs, cats, or Bigfoot. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Or am I? This comes in handy since many of these strepsirines are nocturnal, including the slow loris. The tapetum lucidum gives them eye shine. You know, that creepy eye glare that cats get at night that makes them resemble soulless demons in fur coats. Ugh. Their nocturnal nature also explains why these animals have huge peepers, which let in more light. They've been called little fire faces because the shape and coloration of their eyes make them look like twin flames. Slow lorises are arboreal, meaning they live in trees. They spend a majority of their lives moving, you guessed it, slowly and snake-like through the forest canopy, searching for their favorite foods, tree sap, insects, flower nectar, and fruit. The reason they appear to move snake-like is they actually have extra vertebrae compared to other primates. And they have one of the longest tongues of primates, which allows them to enjoy their favorite foods, like flower nectar. But here's the weirdest thing about slow lorises. They're the only venomous primate in the world. Well, except for me before I've had my coffee in the morning. <laughs> ah! I'm not proud of it. Unlike me though, the slow loris has a gland on the inside of its elbow called the brachial gland. This secretes a pungent fluid that it rubs on branches to communicate with other slow lorises. The fluid also happens to be poisonous and includes an allergen that is similar to Fel D1, the allergen in cat saliva. So it's even more dangerous if you're allergic to cats. And since slow lorises lick their brachial gland throughout the day, if they were to bite you with their extremely sharp teeth, you would most likely go into anaphylactic shock. In fact, one of the cruelest parts of the slow loris pet trade is that their teeth are cut down to render them harmless. This is a painful process and once done, they are unable to defend themselves if they are ever released into the wild. So slow lorises are pretty badass, but they're also on the brink of extinction because of hunting and the pet trade. Moral of the story, they may be ridiculously cute, but they should never be kept as pets. It's cruel for them and potentially dangerous for you. The slow loris may be nocturnal, but humans, not so much. Find out why in this video here. For other cool stories, check out our friends at Seeker Stories. They have a new video about a young woman who's improving the planet and rebuilding oyster estuaries by making wine. What about you? What was your favorite slow loris trait? Tell us in the comments below and keep coming back for D News every day of the week.